Hi there, this is a very short video uh, responding to a question on banking which came my way recently. And it's a very simple but uh, important question. When it comes to commercial banks, in simple terms, how does a commercial bank make a profit? Well, the answer is as follows. A business makes its profit uh, in the banking sector by paying interest to people who keep their money there and by charging a higher rate of interest to borrowers who uh, lend money from the bank. So let's take uh, the data from the UK to illustrate the point. In blue here, we have the effective interest rate on deposits, money put into, a, into the banking system as savings. And you can see since 2008, the effective interest rate on deposits has collapsed from just over 4%, now down to less than 1%. Indeed, the rate of interest on savings has, for most of this period, been well below the rate of inflation. The orange line, in contrast, shows the effective interest rates on outstanding bank loans. Now, keep in mind this is an average. There'll be lots of loans with very different interest rates, from credit card rates and bank loan rates and overdrafts, etc. But this is the average interest rate on commercial bank loans. And that's again come down since 2008, 2009, but it's about four, just under 4%. So the average interest rate on loans in the UK banking sector is about 3.2%. Uh, the average rate of interest the banks have to pay on deposits is only 0.7%. And this gives us something called the interest rate spread. That's just the difference between the two. It comes out at plus 2.5%. So providing the people who have lent, uh, borrowed the money, uh, pay it back, in other words, the banks can maintain a relatively low ratio of bad debts to, to gross loans. This is how commercial banks make money, in simple terms. HSBC is Britain's biggest bank, one of the top 10 banks in the world. And in recent years, after a dip, obviously, during the recession, its total profits, global profits, have been huge in excess of uh, 14 billion dollars per year but that's not true for all banks of course as you should know banks such as Royal Bank of Scotland have been in particular difficulty uh, here's the BBC reporting a, a near 500 million pound loss for the three months July to September 2016 RBS has many so-called legacy issues including mis-selling of payment protection and all the kind of costs of bad debts uh, when it got heavily involved in the subprime housing market several years ago now. The bank is also making loss because it's got severe restructuring costs in the wake of the, the government bailout and nationalisation. The Co-op Bank is another bank that's been in the headlines recently for making big losses. 1st of April 2016, not an April fool in any way, they announced that the annual losses had more than doubled. Uh, to over £600 million in 2015. And again, some of the key reasons there, including the money they've had to set aside to compensate people for the mis-selling of payment protection insurance. They also took a big hit on bad property loans, as many banks that got their fingers burnt by the housing market did. So that, in a nutshell, is how commercial banks make a profit.